Hello YouTube, I'm very pissed off, and I'll be doing several videos today, but to try to curb my own pissed offness, the first video I'll be doing is not the pissed off video. So this is a video on, I'm going to do a video on this gaming site I go to, and then the, succeed, the succeeding three or so videos, one, two, or three, something like that, maybe more, uh, I'll be ranting. So uh, prepare yourself if you intend to watch those. Alright, so this video is just to introduce y'all to a gaming resource. I'm not sure if you're aware of this website. It's called congregate.com with a K. And I'll put the link in the bottom. And this is no, it's not a video game. It's not any major um, thing. It's a flash game website. Uh, but it's different than others because of several reasons. Um, firstly, it's a flash game website and in and of itself it has a sort of I guess social um, thing to it uh, kind of like a social site because obviously you create your account as you would um, actually that's not obvious because a lot of flash sites you don't need an account but and actually you don't need an account to play games on this site but you can create an account if you so desire and if you create an account, you can do some cool stuff like uh, you can um, donate a little bit of money directly to the developers of whatever games you like. Um, you can, there's sort of the social networking of games, right? So you can go add your friend and then see what games they're playing. You can play those. Uh, or you can do it the other way and play a game and see um, of people who play that game, you know, what are the other top games they're playing. It breaks it down into categories, RPG, all that. A lot of sites do that. However, on this site, uh, it tends to be a higher quality site. There's some very junky, stupid flash sites out there. So it tends to be a higher quality site, and consequently it attracts higher quality games, as well as a larger number of games. So, you know, in games sometimes it is a matter of quantity over quality because... You can have an exceptionally great game, and if you play it and beat it, and then you sort of get tired of it, um, you just kind of rain yourself dry. And in some cases, you can play very stupid games, like you can play different variations of Tetris all day long. And if there's a lot of different versions, uh, maybe each one is a little bit different, then maybe that can keep you entertained. So the quantity is also a factor with this website. Um, you get participation stuff. You know, it's not a big deal, but it's kind of fun. You can submit scores on e virtually any game. Um, I think any game you can submit your scores on, and you know, like it's an old arcade, and you try and get the high score or whatever. Uh, additionally, and here's another reason, there are a few websites like this, but not many, such as ArmoryGames.com, Newgrounds, uh, where it's such a high-quality flash site that they have several games created specifically for them, or created by them, or uh, created by a third party, however people who play it via a particular site get uh, bonuses in-game or whatever it may be. And this is one of those sites, so you'll see a lot of games made by Congregate only available on Congregate. You'll see a lot of other people's games where you only get a cool special perk if you play it on Congregate. And in fact, this happens, uh, it's, it's been my experience that the three sites this happens the most with are Congregate, Armor Games, and Newgrounds. And out of those three, it's been my experience, although, you know, it's not like I've done research on this or anything, but it's been my experience that it happens most frequently with Congregate. So, might as well knock it out. They have regular updates. Uh, it's once a week, if I recall correctly. It's either Saturday or Sunday. They'll throw out new games. If you're a game developer and you make Flash games, check this site out because weekly, um, like I said, they put out new games, and at the end of that week, whoever got the most like plays and stuff, they get a lot of money. They do developer competitions. So that's good for you as a developer. It's good for me as a gamer because I get to play higher quality games when people are motivated to create a higher quality game. Uh, so that'll wrap it up. I'll put the link down in the description. You want to add me as a friend, which is not a big deal, really. There's no... I mean, unless you just want to see the particular games I play, which you could do, I guess. Um, but um, I'll also put my, I guess, like, um, not, like my account or add friend or something like that link in the description, too. 
All right, so check it out. And uh, and like I said, this is not any kind of major. It's not a game itself. It's rather more of a database of games. So if you're one of those people that likes to stick to one game, you know, and you're a huge fanatic of that game, like Call of Duty person or something like that, probably not the place to, not the place to go. If you're like me and you're on the internet all the time and sometimes you just want to play kind of a casual game or you do a lot of homework on the computer and you get bored of homework and you switch back and forth between games, that's something I do. Uh, and you like kind of simpler, smaller bite-sized stuff, um, this is this is my recommendation for the way to go. So take care. And also, I do play StarCraft 2. That's the only other game I play. So if you're interested on, on uh, talking to me about that, message me or something. And, uh, and that's, I like games a lot, but that's really all I do, StarCraft 2 and this website. Take care.